Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacklas Workshop. Uh, we're going to look at two attachments for the Unimat um, SL lathe today. So the first one is, uh, let me show you the box. So it's the original box, it's a, sorry, ran the wrong way, a dentistry spindle. So I'm not sure whether the plan was to be able to uh, polish your false teeth with this, but, um, and you can see uh, we've got a spindle here, normal process. Uh, screw the spindle onto a back plate uh, M4 screws so that's um, pretty simple and then that will screw onto your spindle as normal now what we do is uh, something slightly different um, we're going to configure the uh, the lathe to be uh, um, in a different position so wind the um, the cross slide back towards the tail stock uh, take out the pin here which is your alignment pin for when you're turning in a straight or turning in a non-tapered fashion if we just move the the lathe around now there's a screw here which you undo to allow you to move the headstock Let's just put the power cable that side so you can turn it round. so now it's sitting on an air uh, on a uh, in a different sort of um, axis so what we need to do then is if you undo these two screws and you can push that that further away um, and then do these two up again and then you can add a buffing wheel to it and um, the Unimat then can be used for polishing, um, just just as normal. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's a pretty simple process and quite a useful one because just more functionality for for the Unimat. Now the other one is an interesting uh, uh, other thing. What we've got is uh, a grinding wheel, and we've got a guard. So again, in this exact same position, so you would just turn this, whether you're uh, buffing something or grinding. Now this is um, the guard, and all it is is the hole the size of the spindle uh, and one screw to put it on. So you, you put it on, turn it around, do the screw up. But to demonstrate it, I'll leave that off for the moment, yeah? Now this is... Um, it was an interesting thing, and, I, and I, I'm not 100% sure about this, but what we've got is, uh, let me take, take this apart so you can see. We've got uh, one screw there, a washer, and then we've got this other thing here, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. Now, basically, you put your your cutting um sorry your grinding wheel on there you put your washer do the nut up uh tighten it up and then your here's one here's one i prepared earlier um so it's just the same you've got um there's an i believe that's an allen key yeah so you've got m m5 allen key you can put your Tommy bar in there and tighten it up. Um, and then you can then screw this onto your grinding wheel, uh, oh, sorry, onto your spindle. And you've got a grinding machine. Um, now, you can actually, um, you can, let me undo that again. You can have it back round this direction. And then you can put, let's move that back here. What we, we can do is you can actually put a tool in there, your cutting tool, and then you can use the grinding wheel to, um, you know, uh, at the angle you want, and you can actually use that as a holder for it. So that uh, is quite useful. The only disadvantage, if you're just trying to grind something that you, do, you can, you're doing by hand if you do it this way then these are not covering your ways and and to be honest you're probably better to put something over them to protect them now these just to go back to this thing i don't know what it actually is 
Um, but it came with two of these, uh, you know, each one of these grinding wheel, I don't know what you call a holder, a yeah, holder, I suppose, um, had one. And I'm not certain because it, it does screw in here, but I don't know if you had it in there, you can't put it onto the spindle. So if anyone knows, you know, I would really be grateful to, um, to know. Um, and just to give you, we're doing well here. Yeah? Just to give you an idea, if I take the tool post off, that it's got two flats on it, and that is a bit like a T nut that you can slide it on. So I think it is has some some idea of the grinder, but I'm not to do with the grinding. But I'm not too sure. Um, now, so this is all lovely. We've got. We've got a guard and we've got a grinding wheel. What does seem, and when we want to tighten the the, the wheel, the, the the holder to the spindle, we would use the two Tommy bar, two Tommy bars in and tighten it up. But the problem you get is when this guard is on, because you have to put, uh, You have to put the guards on first, then you put the grinding wheel. Now, you can only get to one of the, uh, let's see if I can turn that around. So you can see it from the other side. This, this spindle's right over there and you can only get to one of the, um, uh, the holes for the Tommy bar. So it's a bit of a challenge to, to actually run these two. So again, if anyone has experience of these and, and can suggest a better way of doing it, I mean, I think what I will do is make up some sort of a uh, bit like an Allen key shaped Tommy bar that I can put in to hold it. Um, and then as I tighten, it should be okay. And then what uh, you then can do is pull that over and tighten it up obviously that way round um, yeah, yeah so that that's uh, that's it really it's pretty um, pretty simple setup um, as I say I think it's advisable to um, cover your ways when you're doing it just to make sure and probably when you're doing with it with the buffing really just to, to keep it so uh, keep them protected. I, I think it's uh, probably a wise, um, a wise uh, choice or a wise cause of action. That's the better term. Um, so we yeah. So now we've got um, the ability to um, grind. Now what we can also do is when the when the Unimat is set up in its milling configuration, you could put that onto the. Uh, uh, on the spindle and you can because the spindle can be rotated uh, on an angle so you can have it you you know you could cut grind different shapes on it so it is quite flexible um, for, for grinding small small stuff so you know um, once again we're showing that the uh, the Unimat can be a lathe the miller machine um, we can polish on it, we can grind on it, uh, we can cut threads. Um, we, you know, we can do many things on this uh, this little machine on uh, small components. Okay, uh, just one word, uh, one other word of warning. If you buy them on eBay, I mean, this this wheel came with it. I won't use it um, just because I don't know the history of it. And you're far better just to buy new. These small ones aren't that expensive, and uh, it's better better to be safe than sorry. Um, if you know uh, Enox Engineering, uh, Alan over there, I, I watched one of his videos um, last night, which was um, really good about uh, fitting grinding wheels. Um, I'll put a link to it actually in the video description because it, it, he just talks about uh, the various checks you should do and. Um, how you can ring ring the uh, um, 
the wheel to check whether it's cracked and, and stuff it, it was a good very good video so i'll put the link in in the description so that might help you all okay so that's um that's about it on the unimat being a polishing and um a grinding machine so uh yeah definitely useful this dentistry spindle if you have false teeth fortunately my teeth aren't like the stars they don't come out at night okay so um as always um thanks for watching um stay happy strong and healthy and i'll see you in the next one cheerio